Clerk Noyoru, the program officer of Ghana's Ministry of Children, Gender and Social Protection, has said in an interview that the psychological empowerment of women is very important and vital in developing the skills of women in their contributions to national development. The officer of the ministry said that many women are very talented but have found themselves unable to reach their potential because of the situations they find themselves. She referred to instances where children are given out for marriage when they should be studying to increase their chances of a bright future. Ms. Noyoru also talked about the implementation gaps in the draft national gender policy of 2004, which is based on Article 17 of the 1992 Constitution. She attributed these gaps to a lack of broad consultation during the development process. For instance, she shared that the former policy did not come up with a well-planned implementation strategy. She added that it combined children's issues with gender issues, two broad areas which, though interrelated, are quite different. According to her, the purpose of the recent legislation is to correct all imbalancing, preventing the rights and welfare of women. The ministry will also link up with the Ministry of Education to find out the gender issues in the ministry and then incorporate it in the national gender policy in order to ensure strategic implementation planning in the education sector. Ms. Noyoru is quoted as saying, We are providing the avenue for them to go to school, encourage them to be able to take into politics and do all the things that ordinarily men are doing, speaking of course about women. She added that women empowerment could be one of the important steps of curbing juvenile delinquency, admitting that we need a lot of advocacy and sensitization activities to be able to bridge issues of discrimination and gender-related issues. Clerk Noyoru said discrimination is everywhere and the most important thing is to promote sensitization and awareness creation beginning from homes and families. And in Nigeria, the Broadband Council, set up by the Minister of Communication Technology, Dr. Omobola Johnson, has made a call for the speedy implementation of the broadband plan in the communication industry. In a release signed by the Special Assistant on Media to the Minister, F.M. Ekanga, the Council made a call to all stakeholders in the communication sector and also stated the progress which had been made on the implementation of the broadband plan in the past 18 months. Now, it's noted that the increased capacity rolled out by telecommunications companies and other infrastructural providers resulted in a 2% increase in broadband penetration in 2014. Mr. Efanga commended telecoms operators for their leadership in the area of base transceiver station infrastructure sharing and deployment and said that the council has decided that this needs to be extended to fiber. The special assistant is quoted as saying, of particular concern to the Council and the subject of extensive discussion during the meeting was the need to increase the landing points of international submarine cables beyond Lagos to other coastal states. Additional landing points in the country would not only reduce vulnerability and risks associated with a single point of failure, but would make it faster and cheaper to lay terrestrial cable from these points to other parts of the country. The council statement concluded by noting the successful auction of the 2.3 GHz spectrum and the licensing of the first two infrastructural companies for Metro Fiber rollout. It called on successful bidders to quickly roll out to improve the pace of implementation and commended the efforts of the Nigerian Communications Commission in their successful trial of TV white spaces approved by the states. Still from Nigeria and still in the world of technology, Nigeria's Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Abdul Bulama, has put out a call on youth from and in Nigeria to take advantage of social media and other technological tools to report during the coming elections. The minister said this in Abuja during the opening ceremony of a capacity development conference for Nigerian youth organized by the ministry in partnership with the United Nations Development Programme. Minister of Youth Development Mr. Boni Haruna, in addition, is quoted as saying, The use of social media network in campaigning and in disseminating party manifestos and programs cannot be overemphasized. The training was designed to equip and educate the youth on the right use of available technology in election processes.
Guys, we have to take a quick break now, but there's plenty more interesting stuff when we get back.